Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for motiontutorials.net with a new video on my top five features of Cinema 4D R18. R18 was just announced at SIGGRAPH 2016 and it is really packed with a ton of new features that I'm really excited about. I've been making these new features videos annually for the last few versions of Cinema 4D and I gotta say this update has some of my favorite new features. There's MoGraph updates, materials updates, new effectors, new render settings, 3D compositing updates, new workflow pipelines, and more. Check out all this cool stuff that you can create in Cinema 4D R18 with some of these still renders and animations that I put together to show off some of the new features. I'm really pumped for our Cinema 4D R18, so let's get right to it and go over my top five new features. Number one, Varanoi Fracture. With the new Voronoi Fracture object, you can finally fracture and break apart 3D objects right in Cinema 4D with no external plugins needed. The Voronoi Fracture allows you to break apart any 3D object, control the number of pieces as well as many other settings, and then you can easily animate them in all sorts of creative ways using MoGraph effectors. The Voronoi Fracture is my favorite feature of R18. You can do so much with it. To take a deeper look at everything you can do to set it up and customize it, be sure to check out my full video on the Varanoi Fracture by clicking on that thumbnail right there. It's really cool and it's going to open up so many fun new animation possibilities. Speaking of MoGraph animation and effectors, number two, MoGraph updates. If you're a fan of using the MoGraph animation system in Cinema 4D like I am, then you're going to be really excited about the new MoGraph updates for R18. In addition to the Varanoi Fracture, the MoGraph animation system is one of the biggest areas receiving a lot of updates for Cinema 4D R18, and there's a lot of new features in it. There's the new Honeycomb Array, which allows you to easily create honeycomb patterns for your cloners. New effectors like the Push Apart Effector and Re-Effector with both add some unique animation options when using effectors, as well as some small but very powerful updates like scaling and weight painting. The MoGraph updates are such a big feature for Cinema 4D R18 that I set up another top five video for R18 covering my top five MoGraph updates for this new version. To learn all about the new MoGraph updates for R18, be sure to check out the full video by clicking that thumbnail to learn all about it. Number three, Thin Film Shader. The new Thin Film Shader is a really cool addition to materials in Cinema 4D. You know that cool rainbow effect that you'll see when looking through soap bubbles or on the top of sunglasses when the sun is passing through them? Well, now you can recreate that lighting phenomenon right in Cinema 4D with an easy to use shader effect. The thin film shader is found in the materials tab under effects and can be used in addition to existing materials to add a nice thin film on top of your materials and reflections or as a transparent material giving you that cool soap bubble effect like we see here in this crazy render setup with a thin film shader and a metal ball object. To learn all about the thin film shader in Cinema 4D R18, be sure to take a look at my full video breakdown on this new feature and you can learn all about how it works. Number four, inverted ambient occlusion. So if you're familiar with rendering and render effects in Cinema 4D, you might know that turning on ambient occlusion is a great way to add realism in a scene by rendering small little shadows that appear naturally when we have a physical light source and parts of objects are blocking that light source from other parts of that object as well as those nice little shadows that we get when an object is sitting on the ground. Well, what would happen if you pointed that in the opposite direction and instead of casting shadows outward, the shadows appeared on the inside of the objects? That's exactly what inverted ambient occlusion does and it can create some really unique results when colors are added. This new feature can be a really creative way to get alternate 3D render results with just changing a couple settings. To get a full overview of some examples I've set up using inverted ambient occlusion and some fun stuff you can do with the new settings, be sure to check out the full video of this new feature by clicking that thumbnail right there. And finally, number five, parallax bump mapping. Back over in materials, you might know that adding a bump map is a great way to create the illusion of complex, bumpy, textured surfaces without adding to your render time and without actually changing the original geometry of a surface. With parallax bump mapping, we are taking this concept even further by allowing you to create the illusion of surfaces being raised and sunken even more. When applying bump maps in Cinema 4D R18, you'll notice some new options for parallax offset and parallax samples. Don't overlook these couple new settings as they can create some really powerful results while still saving a ton on render time because they're not actually displacing or distorting the geometry. 
It's a really cool and unique feature, and to get a full understanding on how parallax bump mapping works in R18, take a look at the full video and you'll have a complete understanding of this new feature in no time. So there are a ton of great new features for R18. It is definitely one of the biggest releases lately as there are major updates and major new features being added to everything from MoGraph animation, materials, rendering, compositing effects, and more. It'll be available soon in 2016, so be sure to check it out when it's released or pretend like I didn't say that if you're watching this in the future and it's already out and you're already using it when you're flying around and your space car is talking on your space phones. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features including MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 40 products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store where you can pick up Cinema 40 templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, which are packs of 8K environment photos, assets, and a Cinema 40 templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new feature tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Thank you